Guys, welcome back to Jamie Allen Golf. Sorry for the brief hiatus. I have not had published a video in over five weeks due to being busy coaching and coursework. So hopefully that's all going to be finished. We've got a special guest on the channel today, Steve Johnson PGA. What we're going to talk about is kind of just the mental side of golf and what we see on a day-to-day -day basis and how can we obviously put across to you guys to improve your, your mental side on the golf course, your mental process and obviously the environment around you. So let's get let's get into this. Guys, we're on the third tee at Cardona Golf Club. Make sure you admire the scenery in the background, not just the two of us in the camera. <laughs> That's the main thing. So what we're going to talk about today is generally the mental side of golf and what we see before people get on the golf course with, with conversations kind of in the shop before a medal and kind of conversations the night before, let's say you give a lesson and then they're obviously playing in the middle. What we're going to do is to, to improve on anything in golf, what you need is some feedback. Which you get, you go for a lesson, you get feedback. Obviously, you have to practice that to improve your golf. But one of the biggest things I see in golf is people focusing on too much of the short term outcome, which is the shot in hand, and instead of the long term goal, which is kind of the feel of your overall swing. Mm. Does that kind of make sense? Absolutely. When Absolutely. you when you come for a lesson, or let's say you you get somebody who comes for a lesson and they're they hit one shot right, you tell them obviously they slice the golf ball, they've got a weak grip. They're still hitting it right, so you yeah. change their grip, and the ball's still going right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take one shot to improve your your whole kind of sequence of events. I've got another guy today. I was coaching today. Another guy hit two shots. We changed something. Hit two shots in a row. Wasn't happy with the outcome yeah. of them, and he said to me immediately, "That's not any better than it was before." Yeah. And he hit two shots. Yeah. He'd been golf for thirty years, and that was yeah. two shots. And I said to him, "I said, you know that that's not going to happen. You, you have to obviously take time for this to age the process, and the, mm -hmm. the longer they take, the more balls you hit, the quicker you're going to age the process." Yeah. And eventually getting through to him, it was fine. But um, it's interesting what you said there about the night before the game of golf yeah. and the morning when we were in the shop yeah. and guys come in and they say, you know, ask how you're getting on. Or ask me in three hours' time. Yeah. Well, I'll ask you how you're getting on now. Right, so they're working. So they're negative straight away, you know. They're working on too much about positions and instead of actually how to get the ball there through feel. Can I always say is kind of focus on the feel of the shot. Look at the environment and how to consider different things within the environment. That might be looking at the golf ball player, looking at the yeah. pattern on the golf ball. Absolutely. And we all hear about weather chat, don't we? Focus oh, right. on how warm the sun is. Absolutely. Something like so that. You see the psychological side of things. What I do, if I'm hitting a shot there, I'll this ball. So, psychologically, I mean, I, I can take into consideration all the danger. Right? So, if I stand here and, and there's bunkers down the left, and I'm hitting an iron, which should keep away from the bunkers, but for the purpose of this, let's imagine these bunkers are in play. And I stand here and I say to myself, right, don't hit the bunker. Right, don't go to the bunker, don't go left, bunkers on left, don't go left. I'm going straight there. Yeah. Right, so I now have to change my way of thinking and when I when I look at the hole I, I take it into consideration, okay, where is the danger? So psychological side is, is absorbing all the danger. I know it's on the left, I know it's the bunkers, everything else is fine. So now I stand in the shot and I tell myself, psychologically, let's just go down the right. Anywhere right's good. Play my shot, ball goes down the right because I've assessed the danger first, the last thing in my mind. Yeah. It's where I want to go and not where I don't want to go. Yeah. That's the way I look at it psychologically. I stand in that tee and I think that's the way I approach the shot. There was no thought of technique there. I was talking when I was actually playing the shot. I was still verbally talking yeah. when I was playing the shot because I was purely thinking of where I wanted to go. Nothing to do with the technique of my swing. But how, how strange is this, right? A lot of golfers are unwilling to practice technique, but they think about it too much. Uh, no. So, I mean, it, it sounds really, really cruel, but I mean, if you think too much about technique and you don't implement that within your practice, you're not really kind of, you're not really kind of comfortable in that situation. So instead of thinking about your technicalities, think about the environment. Think about mm. how far you hit his club instead of. If you're on the range, think about the technique. Go for it, absolutely. Yeah. Where are you got on the golf course, it's just, I want to get the ball from here down that side of the fairway. So let's think about that side of the fairway. How I'm going to do that? And if it's not very pretty, how you get down the yeah. fairway, it doesn't really matter as long as I get down that yeah. side of the fairway. I'm not going to think yeah. exactly. I have to be here, 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 and here yeah. in order for that to happen. Yeah. You know? I mean, everyone's different. Everyone, you get some methodical golfers and some ones that don't actually care about technique and where the ball goes and just stand and hit it. They're kind of the, the better, the best well, golfers. Right. Right. So, I'll hit one. So, no thought of technique. Remember, Ernie L was talking about, um, he was talking about strawberries. strawberries. That's right. Exactly. He was talking about rhythm and rather than thinking about any technique, on the way to slow down, he thought of strawberry mousse. So, when he took the club back, it was strawberry. Moose, it was nice and smooth, and that strawberry moose was nothing to do with technique. It took him away from the golf swing, it was yeah. just all rhythm. Yeah. Let's have see strawberry moose. Strawberry moose. Good. And the 
focus there is just the right hand side of the fairway, just anywhere down there is good. Do you know what, I, this is, well, the only thing I think about when I'm swinging is think about the club head coming past my vision on the way through like that. I've seen too many golfers you get there, obviously you can't see the club head has to pass my kind of eye like, like that. So I have to see it when I fall through. That's kind of the only thing I think about. Right, so I, I think the sort of psychological side and just the way people approach the game of golf, it doesn't have to be as technical as it, as as it's perceived in tell. I mean, I've got a track man. I mean, track man tells you everything you need to know about the golf right. swing. But do you need to know all that? Yeah. If you know how the path and the face work together, and you can get that path and face to do something to go in the right hand side of the fairway, that's cool. Yeah. It's not about smash factor. Now I'm going to think about keep my left arm straight, flat left wrist, bend right arm. Okay. And then see what actually happens. Right. Hold on. I want the uh, rotation, pivot. I want powder accumulator number three working. Pressure point number two working. We're working a sequence four, three, two, one. Get that pivot working. There we go. Roll of the wrist, extensor action. Got all that? Well, I've got a process that then. It'll take me a year to process that. Computing all that, perfect. Awesome. That is honestly. <laughs> it was a good swing though, that's the main thing. <laughs> Let's try it again. Oh. See? Lifting my head, lifting my head. Right, on this one. So, <laughs> on this one. On this one, yeah. Okay. Left stage the right's good. I'm happy. Anyway, down the right. Good. And then if I couldn't get it down the right, I'd go to the range after the golf course and yeah. then, uh, after the game and then try and work on something. Yeah. So remember, oh. hit shots, don't hit positions. Oh! <laughs> the golfing machine, Homer Kelly's golf machine states, let mechanics teach and let fuel repeat. Fuel repeat. So what he's saying there is, on the range it's all mechanics to teach you the motion. But then when you're on the golf course, it's feel to make you repeat it every time. Yeah, every time. Like it's more like Norman. Chunk, isn't there? Like more, more Norman. Norman. Every time. Every time. How you think before each shot affects the way obviously you execute the shot when you're in that kind of shoebox, as I'll call it. So guys, watch Steve Johnson's channel. Make sure you kind of visit that. This channel's pretty flying at the moment. Uh, and obviously you've got your Eureka move which is improving your golf Eureka, aye, aye. Come many other people's golf website, yep. and uh, so guys kind of focus more on the environment less about the technicalities and trust me your scores will come down in no time Absolutely. the less you have in your head the easier the shot becomes thumbs up like the video share the su subscribe blah blah